Uh, my name is Burç Angan. I am the vice uh, chairman of uh, Hermak Plastics Machinery and um, uh, I belong to the second generation of our family. And Hermak was founded by my father and currently we are managing the country company as uh, three brothers. And currently we manufacture injection molding machines uh, starting from 100 tons up to uh, 2500 tons. And uh, our vision is to create a middle segment machinery. Uh, right now we are participating here in Interplast and uh, it's uh, part of our vision to expand uh, more and more into Central, Eastern and Western European markets. Uh, we are a company, in fact we are a family coming from a production of a tradition of production. So we have a very vast uh, knowledge of uh, mechanical production and the production of injection molding machines. In fact, Turkey itself is a big production base for the Europe. Uh, today, a uh, total of 43% of machine and machine components production of Turkey is exported to Germany. So in fact, uh, even right now we are exporting quite a lot of uh, machinery and machinery components to Europe. So we want to move on to the next stage. Uh, we want to expand our presence more and more into uh, Central and European markets. Uh, in this uh, vision, we see Poland as a very key actor in uh, this, uh, how can I say, mission to increase our presence in the European market. In uh, 2017, we launched our Poland branch and uh, with this vision, we are planning to improve, uh, increase our uh, presence more and more in this Polish, uh, in the Central European market. Our idea is to create an alternative brand because today in the market, you have big players from Western Europe and you have Asians, uh, but in the middle of the market where you are looking for a uh, decent quality, high technology, but also a decent price, uh, there are not many alternatives. Uh, and we are trying to fill this gap in this market. And uh, we are a very flexible company who focus on mainly on the uh, new development projects, new research projects. And we try to be as flexible as possible for our clients to present them a unique solution that is perfect for their needs. Could you describe in short words what are the best sides mm -hmm. of a Hurmat machinery? Well, I can tell you that our responsiveness might be the strongest side because uh, we don't have a very big, uh, very heavy structure of uh, decisions and procedures. We are a medium kind of company. This makes us very flexible, very responsive for our clients. So uh, we can uh, respond very quickly for their custom requirements. We can respond very quickly to their needs after they uh, purchase the machine from us. So uh, this is, uh, I can tell, that uh, one of our strongest points. This also enables us to, to be able to uh, use the latest technology because we do not make huge contracts with our suppliers. So sometimes uh, our suppliers, they launch a, a new technology, but uh, big uh, brothers, let's say, they cannot switch to these new technologies instantly because they have uh, long-term contracts, so they need to wait until they fill this contract. But it's not the case with us. Uh, for example, with our Saro Motors supplier, Baumüller from Germany, right now we are using their latest technology in motors, and uh, from what they tell us, uh, we are the only company right now who's using this technology in our industry. How do you find the Central Europe market? Well, Central European market uh, is one of our uh, top priorities. Uh, there are several reasons. First of all, uh, the end user here knows what they're buying and knows what they're asking for. So this enables us to proceed further in development of our machines. They push us to use more advanced technology. They push us to develop ourselves further to meet their requirements. So it's a good market where they are not uh, consider where they are not evaluating you only in terms of price, but they are demanding something from you, which carry, which enables you to carry to uh, carry your company further. Uh, Hurmak uh, Plastics Machinery was founded in 1969 uh, by my father, uh, Mr. Adnan Angan, and currently we are the most experienced company in Turkey and only the company actually that produces uh, this type of machinery. And 
as I told, we are a company, we are a family coming from a traditional production. And it's in our soul, you know, we want to uh, produce things, we want to create new things, we want to proceed in terms of uh, technology. So uh, we try to combine our huge experience in mechanical production with uh, the uh, experience of our suppliers, uh, with the new technologies, advancing technologies. We try to push ourselves more and more upper market. We remained mostly a domestic brand until 2011, actually. Uh, despite, despite the fact that we are a very old company and very well known in the Turkish local market, we are not so in the export markets. So we are trying to build ourselves a reputation, a name for ourselves in the export markets, especially Central and Eastern European markets. Uh, in Turkey, I'm uh, 31 years old. And in Turkey, we have many machines still working in the industry and much older than me. <laughs> so it's a big pride for us. And we are trying to uh, reflect this uh, history of production in the European markets as well, to introduce ourselves better. British market is quite new for us. And uh, in fact, uh, this is the first time we are participating in Interplast. And when it is the first time, we try to keep our expectations low because we are quite aware of the fact that we are a new brand here and uh, when people are purchasing machinery they prefer to play the safe bet and they do not uh, want to take uh, risks. So we are uh, fully aware that we need to build up a name for us, we need to build up a trust. So that's why as the beginning we do not have big expectations but we hope to build a uh, base here in the UK uh, in time. And uh, it's part of our uh, expansion plan. Uh, to have something in the British market as well because we see Britain as an important uh, player in the plastics industry. What are the plans for the nearest future? Well, as I mentioned, uh, our plan is to expand our presence in the European market. Uh, with this aim, uh, we'll be present in the Warsaw Industry Week uh, coming soon. And afterwards, uh, we'll be present at Expo Plast in uh, Romania and uh, our schedule goes on like this our one of our major exhibitions is of course in istanbul uh, we will be participating in plus eurasia istanbul in december and uh, for 2018 we uh, target to be present in the european exhibitions uh, as we did this year and uh, plus ball is one of the uh, major ex uh, exhibitions that we hope to be present in